Hey, welcome to today's Monday Morning Moment on Tuesday, once again. See, the thing about it is, when I get busy on Monday, the video takes back seat. So, been a lot to do lately. I'm glad to finally be catching up. My wife, gigantic help in all of that, couldn't do it without her. I'd be seriously swamped. What I wanted to talk to you about today, though, it comes out of uh, the book of John. On Sunday, in Sunday school, we were talking about um, the plan of salvation, what God did for us, and how we should tell others about it. And really, where it begins is with probably one of the most famous scriptures in the Bible. And that is what I want to talk to you about today. John chapter 3, verse 16 says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. I love where this verse starts, because it's where the Christian life begins in us, and it's where our actions should begin to other people. It's with the love of God. For God so loved the world. And the, uh, the idea of that so right there even when you look at it in the Greek, is like when you take uh, and you're describing something to someone else and you're saying it was so big. That's the kind of love that God has for us. That word can mean in a magnitude idea or in a peculiar idea. So God has a great love for us and he also has a very particular type of love for us in a peculiar way because not everyone loves the way God loves. Not everyone loves with the infinite, undefinable, uh, just amazing, boundless love that God loves us with and that we should love others with. We are called to love like God loves. And so the plan of salvation begins with the love of God. And he loved us in this way, that he sent his only begotten son to die on a cross for me. People, there are so many things that I'm not worthy of. I'm not going to win. I'm going to drop some knowledge on you here. Something you probably didn't know. I'm not going to win the Nobel Prize this year. I'm probably not going to be voted People's Person of the Year, okay? I'm not going to be on the cover of any magazine proclaiming me to be the sexiest man in the world. There's a lot of things, and those are, those are so flippant that uh, it, it doesn't even approach the level that we're talking about with God's love here. But there's a lot of things I'm not worthy of. And the biggest thing that I'm not worthy of is God's love and the sacrifice of his son for me. The Bible says that God showed this love to us while we were yet sinners, while I was God's enemy. God showed this kind of love to me when I was his enemy. So he loved us so much. And he loved us in this way, that he sent his only begotten son. And the reason he did that, out of his love, was so that whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. The end of the verse says uh, <clears throat> that whosoever believeth on him should not perish, that's talking about eternal punishment, but have everlasting life. That's eternal reward. God sacrificed so that we can have something we didn't deserve. So that I could have eternal reward instead of eternal punishment. People, that's available to everyone, regardless of who you are, what you've done, what color your skin is, how, how big or little you are, how fat or skinny you are. God doesn't care. God made us and he loves us. And because of that, he sent his son to die for you. Would you accept his gift today? Just all it has to be is... <clears throat> acceptance of the gift just if even if you don't know how to pray just tell him god i believe that you sent your son to die for me i know that i'm a sinner please forgive my sins send your holy spirit into my heart 
to live in me to be, and become my Savior. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. That's all it has to be. It's just prayer is just a conversation. Have, would you have that conversation with God today? He loves you so much. He wants a relationship with you. And the icing on the cake is you get to go to heaven when you die. That's our moment for today. I hope it really does something for you. Even if you've already accepted Christ as your Savior, I hope it amazes you as much as it does me to know that God loved you just that much. Much love, y'all.